Welcome to Chair Yoga. Today we'll be doing 15 poses, stretches, and movements, ending with a meditation. This is a chair-based class. You will have an option to stand and practice some of the poses that enable some balance movements, as well as some strength movements. Let's begin. Sit tall in the chair, away from the back, feet shoulder width apart. Close your eyes for just a moment to center in on your present being. Being grateful for the opportunity to practice yoga. Thankful for another chance at life. Let's begin with our breathing exercise. Interlacing the fingers underneath the chin, framing the face, lifting the elbows up to the sky. We inhale and exhale, bringing the elbows together, tilting the chin up, head back, and saying, Here we go, repeat. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Repeat. Challenge those lungs and intercostal muscles. Here we go, pull in, big sip, and ah. two more. Last one, make it count. to touch. Excellent. Roll the shoulders back and do some head turns right and left, warming up the head and neck. Let's continue our breath in and out of the nose. As we inhale, we lift the heels off the earth and exhale, pushing back down. Here we go. Spread the toes, pushing the ball of the foot down, squeezing the calf muscles, and release. Getting some range of motion in that ankle joint. Chest high, sit tall, relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. Keep it moving. Two more.
last one. Excellent. Adjust yourself in the chair if you need. Sitting tall. We're going to extend the right leg and foot up and bring it back down. Try to stay away from the back of the chair if you can to work on the uh, keeping abdominal muscles braced. Inhale up, hold it here. <clears throat> and we're going to push the toe away as we exhale and bring it right back in towards our trunk. Exhale. And inhale. Sit tall, squeeze that thigh muscle. Very good. Try and lift that kneecap up towards your body, contracting those muscles. A little higher, challenge yourself. Last inhale, and exhale back to earth. Very good, let's go to that left side. Foot up, leg up, squeezing the thigh, and begin the breath. Inhale, bring the toe in. You should feel a stretch behind the calf, and exhale, point away. Sit tall. Lift the leg a little higher. Last inhale. And exhale back to earth. Excellent work. Um, let's go ahead and grab that knee bringing it into chest, sitting tall, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Hold it here. Feeling a gentle stretch in the posterior hip, activating our back muscles. Squeeze a little more, sit a little taller, breathe through. Exhale, down to earth. Let's grab that left leg, bring it in, sit upright. Think of lifting the crown of the head straight up. Tucking the chin just a little bit. Squeeze those shoulders back one more time. Last inhale. And exhale back to earth. Let's rotate to the right in our chair, sitting tall. Bringing the arm behind the back of the chair, reaching down to the ground. <clears throat> We're gently going to rotate our torso and hips back to center, feeling a gentle stretch in the front of the chest. Sit tall, breathe through, let those shoulders fall back. Keep that upright posture.
turn a little more, get a little bigger stretch. And exhale, coming back to center. Let's head over to that left side, sitting tall, hand behind the back of the chair, and then go ahead and rotate away. You can let your other hand just fall to the side. Feels good to stretch and open up the chest. Rotate a little bit more. Very good. Last inhale. And exhale back to center. How are we doing out there? Good. Let's go into eagle pose. So sitting tall. Big inhale. Arms up right underneath the left, bending at the elbow, intertwining that right hand into the left palm, lifting the elbows up. Lift the crown of the head up to the sky and breathe through. Feel the stretch between your shoulder blades. Gently look up to the hands. Maintain that slow, steady breath. Last inhale. And exhale, unwind those arms, straight out wide and down. Going back up, left under the right, bending the elbows, interlace the hands, reaching up high, look up, keep those feet flat into the earth, Steady inhale and slow exhale. Feel your back muscles slowly release with each breath. And unwind, arms out and back down. Very good. Go ahead and roll those shoulders turn the head, whatever your body needs at this point, go ahead and honor that with a couple rotations or movements. It's very important to pay attention and center in on your personal needs. Everyone has different movements and, and different demands daily. Listen to them, honor them, love them, love yourself. Let's go big inhale, arms up overhead, interlacing the fingers, index and thumb to touch. Sit tall, squeeze your biceps next to the ear, arms straight, elbows straight, reach up a little more. As you inhale, pull in your belly button. Reach more. And let's lean over to that right side. Lean more, keep that breath. Come on, yogis, a little bit more. Challenge yourself today. Keep those elbows straight, hands straight, wrists straight. Lean more and back to center, very good. Let's go to that left side, inhale. And lean over, reach high, lean more. Very good. And back to center. 
Let's go into our backward bend, slowly leaning back, stay away from the back of the chair, look up, arch your back, stick those heels and toes into the earth, keeping you grounded. More back and back to neutral. Very good. Let's go into our forward fold, opening up the hips, slowly tightening the tummy and working our way down to the earth. If you need to use your forearms, lower yourself with the forearms, slowly down, fingertips to touch. And if you can, get the palm down to the ground. Deep breath. Let your head be weightless. Feel your lumbar spine open up, delivering fresh oxygen into the spine with each breath. Notice how much easier the stretch becomes. Turn your head to the side right and left and make the yes movement up and down. Slowly we work our way back up, interlacing those fingers, arms back to ear, reaching up, sitting tall, higher, extend that spine, look up, and exhale, arms to the side. We'll proceed into Tadasana, our mountain pose, standing up in front of the chair. Toes and heels to touch, palms facing forward at the side. Relax the shoulders, squeeze your glutes together, keeping the knees straight, standing tall. Keep the weight into the heel, Find that steady, slow breath as we become still. Keep the knees straight, squeezing the thigh muscles, squeezing your gluteal muscles. And we'll proceed into our chair pose. Big inhale as we squeeze our knees together, shifting our weight back, hovering over the chair, a nice neutral spine, lower the hips, squeeze the knees, looking three feet in front of us to the earth. Focus on that, lift those arms up next to the ears and eyes. Breathe through, hold it here. Five seconds. And exhale, back up to mountain. We have one more chance this morning. Here we go, big inhale, shift the weight back, sit back. This is where we get stronger. Challenge yourself today. Keep that neutral spine in your low back. little lower. 10 seconds. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back to standing. Excellent work. Let's walk back to our chair and do our warrior two. Now you always have that option to do it sitting in the chair, just rotating your body. 
<clears throat> For those of you that want to do it standing and need some support, remember, use your chair. <clears throat> Big step out to the right. Pointing the right toe. Pointing the hands. And slow, we want our left leg straight. Heel into the earth at an angle, okay? So we don't want it straight out that way or that way. Kind of at that 45 degree. Arms up, turn the head and let's lunge forward. Pointing the toe to the right, keeping that spine up straight. Lunge down, breathe through. If you need that chair, make sure you can hold on to it. A little lower. Hold it here. Let's go into triangle, rotating into the inner right leg. Down, reach down to that ankle if you can and slowly turn, looking up to the sky. And exhale, back up to warrior two, and turn to center and back together. Excellent work. Let's do it on the other side. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the modification of holding on to your chair for a little extra support. Big step out to the left, arm pointing straight ahead, <clears throat> back leg down, and we're slowly lunging. Straight spine. If you don't need that, remember your other hand is up. And going down into triangle, still holding on, reaching down and rotating, looking up. Hold it here. Maintain that slow and steady breath. Back up to warrior two. Turn towards center and back together. Excellent work. Let's practice our tree pose this morning. <clears throat> right foot can come up. If you're confident and ready, go ahead and lift it up to either the inner thigh or the inner calf region. If you need a little bit extra support, you can always hold that chair. Of course, you can always keep a toe down and just lift that heel up. <clears throat> when you find your position, remember the leg that we're standing on and balancing on, we want to be straight. Squeeze that glute, those posterior muscles, knee straight, stable and strong. Here we go. Find something to focus on and hold your balance. When you're ready, let's move those arms up into the tall, beautiful trees that we are. And slow back down and foot back to earth. Very good. Let's try the other side. <clears throat> Standing on that right leg, left one up. Hand to chest. Squeeze the glute, keep the weight in the heel, toes spread into the earth. And extend those arms. Be still. A 
reach up. Very good. And then transition back down slowly and foot back to her. We'll go into downward dog. Walking the feet back, <clears throat> shoulder width apart. Holding onto the back of the chair. Keeping the knees straight. We want to stick the hips back Feeling a stretch in the hamstrings, letting our trunk and head fall forward. You'll feel a nice stretch in that mid spine, in the shoulders, and of course, in the back of the leg. Take some deep breaths and hold it here. Relax your face. Relax your kneecaps. Allow yourself to fall forward, getting a bigger stretch. Shift the weight in your heels and the hips back just a little bit more. And come back up. Go ahead and take a couple steps forward. <clears throat> we'll proceed into our cat camel. So rounding the back, tucking the chin, tucking the hips, and then opposite is arching the back, hips up, head up, relax the shoulders down. Okay, let's keep it moving. Round the spine. And let's open up and exhale, incorporating the breath of the dragon. Feel your energy flow through the spine, out your mouth. to that right side. Let's step back with the right foot, right arm up and over, stick the hip out to the side, stretching out the lateral side of the body. Lean, stretch more. This should feel a little easier than when we started. And back down, let's do the left side. Stepping back with that left foot and left arm up and over, reaching high. I want to thank you for joining me today in our adaptive chair yoga. And back down. Let's take a seat and we will end with our meditation. Sit back in your chair. <clears throat> Relax the feet, be comfortable. Palms up, thumb and index to touch. You can relax them on your lap. Close your eyes. Focus in on your present, clear mind, your present spirit. your awareness to self. Notice your hips supporting you in your chair.
your feet flat into the earth. And you feel comfortable and at ease. The miracle of life. The miracle is not to fly in the air or walk on water, but to walk on the earth. To be born, to grow, to walk among the wonders of nature, to live a life of dignity, humor, and grace. This is the miracle of existence. The complexity and possibility of our lives can fill us with awe. We should never take the miracle of life for granted. Today, I will remember how extraordinary even my ordinary life is. Namaste.